hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to duplicate a plan let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go duplicating a microsoft plan here in this platform isn't a straightforward feature within the planner app itself however we are going to show you two workarounds where you can use to replicate a plan kind of like duplicating it in that sense so once you are logged into your microsoft planner account i want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and click the my plans and that would lead you to the planner hub now you want to make sure you are on the right plan that you wanted to duplicate for example this one option is going to be like go to the board section and create a task for example this i'm gonna press enter click this uh see details all right can put some information here now, on the three dots icon, you have an option to copy the whole task, all right? If you do that, this is going to be kind of creating duplicate right here. You can copy all of these. That's one way. It's manually creating a duplicate of the specific task within the plan, all right? Now, when you duplicate the task right here, you see this option. I want you to hover to the title here and there is an option for the uh, drop down menu you might wanna export this plan to microsoft excel if you do that you should be able to save it as a microsoft excel all right and then from there you can convert it to different files creating a kind of like a duplicate microsoft plan all right although it isn't a direct feature but these are some of the workarounds that you can work with all right now another option is going to be if you use the print screen function in your keyboard right here press print screen all right and then now place the print screen plan in one of the platforms such as canva and from here click on the share button export it as different files say for example png pdf and jpeg and then you can manually recreate this task to the microsoft planner again all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video